So, I'm joined by one of Australia's leading DJs, Mr. Goodwill himself. I'm getting interviewed by Mark Brown. Hey, Will. He won't see her too. Didn't think he'd have the time to interview people, but here he is. <laughs> how you doing, bro? Good, mate. How are you? Yeah, I'm very good. A little bit jet lagged. You don't mind if I drink beer while you speak to me? No, as long as you don't say the branding. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what have you been up to? Obviously, the track on CRT. Yes, this sweet weekend. things out. It Finally, just, sorry it took so long. It's okay, we're, we're a bit behind the Australians the way we work in the UK. I'll tell you what, I've been getting a lot of emails about people from overseas, like links to YouTube videos and stuff of them playing their CR2 release in clubs in Ibiza. And it's been going really well. It's big, big in Ibiza. have been playing at Pasha all the time and stuff, apparently. Yeah. So it's good. Um, went on tour with my singer Christy, who's the lead singer in my um, project called Tack Attack. And writing an, uh, an EP for UK people might have heard of Silverchair, but there's a guy from that band called Paul Mack, who's a really dear mate of mine. We were just writing an EP. Finished a whole bunch of new Goodwill singles, which I seem to just be putting in this big box called to be released one day. But So just chain through stuff and never quite putting much of it out. So I'm probably the bane of your existence at the moment, really. <laughs> And you've just uh, mixed the new Sessions album, which is out in the shops at the moment in Australia. Yep. Uh, with the Pop Bellies. Yep, number two this week in the album chart behind Coldplay. Still kicking Sex and the City's ass. Wow. Say. So, and tell us a bit about the tracks you've, you've selected for the album. Well, the Pop Bellies took all the commercial stuff and I took all the cool stuff. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> no, I've got, um, well, I've got like a whole bunch of local stuff. I always put lots and lots of local stuff in my sets and on my CD, and that's not just me sucking up to my mates. It's generally because there's a lot of good stuff out there. So there's a lot, you know, Hook and Sling, Sam Lamore, Klaus Hill, all those guys are represented on the two CDs. So that's always what we do with the releases. And then there's all the bigger guys, you know, Axwell, John Dahlback, The Dons, uh, you know, Can't Copy, Calvin Harris, all that sort of stuff. So. And tell us about what's going on musically at the moment in Sydney for people that haven't been over to Australia before. What can um, people expect to hear in, in clubs? You can correct me. You know, we got on to the electro thing before the English people did. Uh, so we've moved on a bit <laughs> and we've gone to like sort of, you know, it's, it's become very European over here to be honest in terms of, um, you know, the guy, big guys like Dalback and Axwell and uh, Dirty South, the sound's really big and the minimal scene sort of gotten a little bit bigger. There's a lot of hype about that out here that it never quite, you know, went there and yeah. then now we've got this festival we love, do a festival out here every year and that's sort of really starting to find a footing and, and there's a lot of minimal clubs, especially after hours clubs yeah. happening now. and. So it's good to see that all the scenes that you know profess to be big are now actually sort of scenes of their own as opposed to it being hype. So there's a lot going on, but it's definitely more European than it ever has been. Are people playing techno in clubs over here? Or? A little bit. Yeah. Chinese laundry, cave, there's techno. Upstairs, the family in Brisbane and the Empire, there's techno. There's tons in Melbourne. The techno is coming back in a, in a big way. Um, whether or not the bigger house and electro DJs are playing much techno in their sets is, a, is another thing. I'm playing a bit of techno. I don't know who can sing is, but and Klaus is, but um, it's definitely segregated here. People don't really cross over their genres very much anymore. Yeah. So just kind of getting onto the technical side of things, the way you're DJing at the moment. I just saw your rider earlier on today. You're using the DX2 MIDI controller and, and Track to Scratch 3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, are you, how are you finding that? Is that is that new to some of the clubs over here, and, and how are people adapting to your setup? Yeah, it's great. I mean, people, you know, I'm great. you saw my rider because I was laughing about it. <laughs> about how I'm just like sick of turning up to clubs and like having to unplug turntables so I can plug my laptop in. I'm like, where are we? That's unbelievable. But um, it's really good. It was a learning curve, but now I really, really, really enjoy it. So, um, you know, I do like the four deck thing on CDJs with the, with, um, or three, three to four decks, depending on what the club will permit. And then the DX2 doing looping and stuff. It's incredible. It's a great way to DJ, man. Yeah. It's the future for sure. Tractor is the future. It stops you burning CDs, which I like. Yeah, I think I just lost my Ableton endorsement, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can try and get it back now. I love Ableton too for writing music. <laughs> Can't um, write music on Tractor yet. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. And um, um, big records you're playing at the moment and, and kind of tips that you can tell the kids about over in the UK because we're obviously quite behind you guys. No. You know, I'm just saying we got onto Electro earlier. That whole mashup thing was like, I went over to London to Errol Alkin's night. Hi, Errol to trash and I was like dude we were doing like this this like three years ago um you'll laugh at that um big records for me uh, I really really like I mean Anthony re recommended him as well John Dalback. I think that guy's incredible yeah no idea how how he's finishing so many records and obviously we're fiercely proud of Dirty South um I just heard the record he did with Axwell today that's fantastic yeah um more underground stuff like the recorder stuff that's coming out 
Um, we think Sven Bat's doing some really good stuff. I've got two of his new things that are great. Lots and lots of stuff, man. I'm, I'm a fierce record collector, so... Um, are you buying music from Beatport regularly and, and Beatport a lot of download sites? Yeah, Beatport all the time and a and, um, little bit of DJ download, but mostly Beatport. Yeah. I live on that thing. It's my homepage. Um, it's my new girlfriend. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> and my girlfriend hates that website. <laughs> um, I bring it to bed with me, that shit. Uh, just go through some classics. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of promos and stuff. You know, if you download music off a blog, you, you're an idiot. Yeah. Let's just put that out there. <laughs> and if you upload music um, to a blog that's not yours, you're a fucking idiot. Let's just put that out there as well. <laughs> and um, <laughs> talking about really are, um, fucking idiot. radio shows, you, you've got one of the biggest radio shows in Australia. Um, in fact, Mark, it's the highest syndicated dance music radio show in the Southern Hemisphere. Wow. Okay. So tell us more about that and how <laughs> how did they allow you to get on the airwaves? <laughs> um, it is a big show. It's Ministry of Sound Sessions. It's big here. There's a, there's a, a company out here called DMG. They own the Nova Network and a bunch of other commercial <laughs> stations. Really, really big. Thursday nights, and it's you know 250,000 listeners a week, which for the Australian market is really big. I'm not sure what it's like in the UK the listenership, but you know that's a lot of people. So out here. And can, can people listen to the show online? Is, that, is there a yep. website they can check out with if they wanted to sort of kind of get an idea of what's going on in Australia and what, what you're about? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can go to ministrysound.com.au. Yeah. Um, and you can stream it. And if you, we play all sorts of music, everything from commercial to underground. So there isn't a record we won't think about. So if you want to send me stuff for the show, just go to myspace.com forward slash DJ Goodwill and you can send me stuff there because we, we will play anything if we like it. It's not, you know, it's not, you know, pigeonholed at all. So Cool. Okay. Do you think I've mouthed off enough? I think we're running out of batteries. Did I offend anybody? No, maybe just myself. Is there anyone else you want me to slag off before you run out of batteries?